What's going on, you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another limited edition Tommy Hilfiger haul. I had to pick up some more stuff from the Tommy Hilfiger capsule blast from the past because I didn't get the SpongeBob shirt that I needed. So that is what's in this box here, along with a few other unique Tommy Hilfiger pieces. Tommy's like revamping a lot of the old styles from the early 2000s and 90s, and I'm living for it, of course. Obviously, I've been obsessed with the early 2000s style for quite some time now, and the fact that Tommy's acknowledging a lot of the trends that were hot back then, like trucker hats. Yes, hint, I got a Tommy Hilfiger trucker hat in that box. It just came out on Tommy jeans, and um, I needed it, and it's a beautiful piece, so I'm super excited to unbox that. Also, I have a few other things from the Blast from the Past capsule that are in here, so Today's gonna be a hangout sesh. I'm gonna unbox some new Tommy Hilfiger pieces. Hopefully you're interested. If you are, grab yourself a snack, perhaps a monster, and keep on watching. Today's look, today's look, you guys, how are you feeling about this moment? I'm looking rocker chic, 90s grunge meets urban prep right actually it's kind of the vibe i'm going for i don't know how much i'm achieving that but uh i had fun putting together this outfit for a photo shoot on instagram as well as this video so it's got a orange bandana which is from like 2003 i don't know how i still had this from like when i was a kid but i found it at my parents house so i'm wearing it orange for garfield of course this is the first blast in the past Tommy Hilfiger piece that i got from the capsule i had to get garfield you guys are you kidding me he's looking He's looking like a main character in this picture. He has the sunglasses on. He's very Garfield and um, I needed it. So I actually love this shirt. And at first I was like, I don't know how I feel about it because it's like, I don't know, not really my vibe, but I have to say living. Paired it with some pearls here. Of course, these are all Tommy Hilfiger necklaces, but wait, brace yourself because you're gonna see one of the best Tommy Hilfiger jewelry pieces that I own. This is a Tommy Hilfiger silver watch that is like blinged out. Are you kidding me? And um, if you open this up, wait till you see this. There's like a watch on the inside and it says Tommy Hilfiger right there. But oh my gosh, my broken neck there. It's a beautiful piece. And um, I needed to share that. So wearing that as well as like a Tommy Hilfiger Tiffany-esque bracelet right there. But I'm going to stop yapping, guys. We're going to get into this unboxing. So... Let's dive in. I'm extra annoying in this video today. It's because I'm super excited. My vacation is coming up and I've not had a full week off of vacation in a very long time. But on top of that, I'm going to a beach and I'm actually going to Rehoboth, Delaware. So I'm super excited. And I've not gone away last year because of the pandemic, as I'm sure we all have it. And this year, I'm just, I'm really excited to do like a little getaway. So it's been pretty sick. Okay. That's the inside of the box. And of course, you guys, I got a new beach towel, which is why I just mentioned I'm going to the beach because, um, yeah, I got a beach towel. So let's start this off with this piece right here. And this is another blast in the past MTV piece. And I needed this one because guys, back in the day, I wanted to be on TRL so freaking bad. Like I wanted to be a VJ on DRL, DRL. <laughs> TRL and um, then TRL just got canceled. I don't know what the heck happened, but MTV, in my opinion, went down the drain super hard. Like towards 2012, like around then, once I started just like promoting like teen pregnancy, it was like not that <laughs> there's anything bad with teen pregnancy. My cat is playing with Get Pearl. Anyway, once MTV stopped playing music videos, making the video and all the music content that it had, it just like, in my opinion, went downhill and it sucks because I loved MTV super much. But uh, yeah, they started just all their reality TV show, which reality, you never know how much of that is actually real. So although I did love Next and Room Raiders and Punked and Pimp My Ride and like Cribs, oh my God, those were great. But yeah, I don't know what, even Teen Wolf was pretty good. I don't know, MTV, get it together. Come on, get a grip. All right, so <laughs> finally, here is the shirt. I got the MTV Tommy shirt and uh, oh, the tag is a little janky, but uh, this is one thing I love about these pieces is with the Blast in the Past, there's customized tags. So check that out. 
That is the front. That's the back right there. And it's MTB X Tommy jeans. So there's the front. I'm loving this charcoal color too. This color is like probably one of my favorites. And inside the MTV logo, we have Tommy logo. And then on the back, it's the same thing, but just a big version. I am officially obsessed. I didn't think that I would like it this much, but this color in person is really sick. And the quality in this capsule, it's pretty legit. So I absolutely love that. But this is a beautiful piece and I really wanted to get one piece from each of the collections from the blast from the past, but I don't really care for Ren and Stimpy or Beavis and Butthead that much. I know that's like people's favorites, but I didn't watch those shows growing up. And then I tried watching them a few like years ago and I was like, no, not for me, but that's okay. I definitely respect the cartoons because they are iconic within the nineties era. So got to Gotta respect them. Next up, we have another blast from the past piece. And it's a SpongeBob piece. I could not say no to this. By the way, guys, if you're part of the Hillfigure Club, oh my God, what a blessing that is because honestly, these sales that go on are insane. For the 4th of July, they had all the blasts from the past pieces marked down 40%. That's insane. If you spent over hundred bucks, you got free shipping. So, you know, I took advantage of that deal and I got all these pieces for about a hundred dollars. Not bad at all. Actually, it's kind of a steal, so I'm slipping. This is the same color, this lilac color, as the Garfield shirt. So when I seen this in person, and then I was like, okay, the SpongeBob shirt is the same color. I need that. Oh my God. This is insane. This is so freaking like weird to see SpongeBob on a Tom Hilfiger piece. I just watched the new SpongeBob movie, by the way. Hilarious. I was like cracking up laughing and, um, yeah, that like is a must see, I must say. So, oh my God. First off, I'm getting the first glimpse of the back, you guys. There he is, Sponge Bob. That is insane. I kind of wish they had one of Patrick Starr, but uh, this is not in English. I don't know what that is. Is that Japanese? I have no idea what language this is, but cool. Um, But it does say, Tommy jeans on this side in the yellow, you know, for, for a little spongy. And I'm liking how like the font is the SpongeBob font. So like, that's a cool detail that I love. And this is my favorite part guys, aside from the picture of SpongeBob, this it's a sponge, but the Tommy Hilfiger logo that's iconic. Like I'm obsessed. I would be crazy not to get this. I also do want to say, I did speak to a few people from the Tommy community and they have the same type of um, experience with the printing on these shirts. As you can see, like there's a bit of cracking right there. And even in like SpongeBob's eyes, there's a bit of like crackage going on. I'm guessing that's the vibe from this capsule. Well, actually all of Tommy Jane's capsules have kind of been like this, but it gives it age. It's patinaed, I suppose. So, once I talk to a few people about, about this and I'm not the only one, um, it is what it is, but you know, I like, I like aged stuff. So if it gives it that character, awesome, cool. The tag though. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at this tag. It says SpongeBob SquarePants X Tommy jeans. That's insane. These tags alone are a collector's item. There's the front. We just got SpongeBob right there. Oh my gosh. I'm loving that this is a long sleeve tee because I feel like long sleeve tees when they're this type of like crew neck and then the cuffed sleeve, I absolutely live for these type of shirts. But this, this color is beautiful and I'm just loving that it's SpongeBob. So we're sliving. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys my towel. Might as well. This is something that I got for my beach trip and I needed another towel because they were 40% off. So they're 40 bucks with 40% off and I love this one. So this is the picture. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. That's what it's supposed to look like. And I'm gonna open it up. Let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. I have used my other Tommy Hilfiger beach towel. There's already a rip in it. So I guess I'm just gonna tear that part open. I've used my other Tommy Hilfiger towel and I must say it is Phenomenal. Let me grab it really quick. This is the other Tommy Hilfiger towel that I have and I picked this one first because guys These colors are beautiful and the print is really cool. It's like a 3d Tommy th 
and it's it's super quality like it feels amazing it's soft to touch and it does keep you dry so i love this and i needed it so i got this one full price unfortunately um but luckily i got this one at a great deal so it's the same texture the exact same everything aside from the prints but this one says tommy hilfiger all over it we love that um sick i'm very very happy with this purchase i'm gonna need you know more than one towel for my trip so this is gonna be great to have i'm i'm super pumped about this this is what it looks like fully i also put on the screen if you want to see the full um you know picture of it but i love it there's fuzzies everywhere around here because i'm like unboxing stuff so uh don't judge i also have cats so if there's ever like hair floating around in my videos i have five cats so please don't judge me please excuse it so one more piece here this is all that is in the bag yep nothing else okay so a tommy jeans chucker hats i i'm obsessed it's black i love black hats obviously like a lot of the hats on here are dark except for that and that and that Okay, I love black hats. All right, I'm just saying. So um, this is new to the Tommy Jeans collection. And I rocked Ed Hardy hats back in the day, the Von Dutch hats. And I was super into like that aesthetic back in the early 2000s, like mid to mid 2000s. And um, now we have this, which is freaking damn beautiful. Oh my God. So that's the back. Very simple. It's a... I'm not really too sure what you call these type of adjusters on a hat, but it's it's that plastic and it's, it's just so sick. Oh my gosh, let's take this off. That's the inside, if you're wondering, that's what it looks like on in there. There's the tag and it's adjustable, which is like the best part. I don't like those hats that are just one size fits most because I have a tiny head, um, big brain, but a tiny head and um, yeah, so slipping that it's adjustable. Whew, that was tight. That was way too freaking damn tight. All right, so I'm going to guess this is like the standard size that they already had it set at. So let's see if, nope, I need to make it smaller. Go figure. I'm already loving it though. This is so freaking cool. I'm not going to like bend this like, you know, you would for a baseball cap, you like bend the bend these. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this because that's how they usually are for these trucker hats. You just leave it like big and floppy and oh my god. How, I mean, I have the tag still on, but how does it look? I have to say I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm gonna put together a really cool look with this vibe. I just have like plain, uh, plain Tommy, you know, like black t-shirts like this right here. So I feel like just simple black Tommy T with this hat and maybe like some distressed jeans. Sick, that's a look that you'll be seeing soon. So get ready for that. But that is it guys, that is my Tommy Hilfiger Hall Blast from the Past Limited Edition Capsule Experience Part Two. Cause I already did like a part one of this video um, with a, you know, unboxing this shirt and a few things, but I needed to do another one because I wanted the SpongeBob, got the MTV, I don't know if I want anything else, but I probably will get some other stuff from this collection. So yeah, you'll see that in the future. But if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy Tommy Hilfiger, please do not forget to subscribe. I will love your company. Reach out to Tommy Hilfiger and tell them that you want to see me in a campaign because that's what I'm waiting for. And no, I'm kidding. Don't do that, but do that. Um, A-L-E-X-A is trying to tell me that a thunderstorm is coming because why? It's summer here in Pennsylvania and it thunders almost every afternoon in July. And you, please subscribe. I love your company. Do not forget to check out my Tommy Hilfiger appreciation page on in, in, <laughs> Instagram, known as the House of Hilfiger. I post tons of Tommy content, new pieces that are coming out, some of my collection, some runway looks. I also feature a lot of you guys on there. So do not forget to tag and hashtag House of Hilfiger and hit the notification bell on my YouTube channel if you are subscribed because that's gonna notify you when I upload a new video. So that's very, very important. Also, my personal Instagram is at George Shiraz it's right there if you wanna give that a follow as well. But until next time, as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.